Lifting Up Jesus, Opening His Word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio here live via Skype in England with James Jacob Prash. Uh, Jacob, we got a comment on Morial TV, and here's the comment. Just listen to Jacob's talk on understanding and interpreting the apocalypse in which he states the 144,000 minister after the rapture, yet both he and David Nathan told me personally that there will be no converts after that event. If this means they are missionaries to the Jews, that sure seems to be a lot unless there are still multitudes worldwide. Shalom, David D. First of all, David, I think you misunderstood what I said. I can't speak for David Nathan, but I am broadly familiar with his views on the same subject. It's not that there's no converts, it's just that there's no converts coming to Christ in the way they do now. Once the faithful church is raptured and the Holy Spirit stops restraining and the Antichrist comes to power, at that point, the age of the church and the time of the Gentiles, which overlap but are not exactly equivalent to each other, but they overlap and are related to each other, have finished. Most of what the book of Revelation and elsewhere in Scripture tells us at that time is God turns his focus back towards Israel and the Jews. The nations have had their time. The age of the church, per se, is over. We know he will pour out his spirit. We know what it says in the book of Joel, chapter 2, and Zechariah, chapter 12, and in Revelation. We're not saying nobody will be saved, but it will be under terrible, terrible circumstances. And the focus of what Scripture says, undeniably the overwhelming mass of what it says, is that his attention goes back, or his focus goes back, to the salvation of Israel and the Jews during the time of Jacob's trouble. That's after the church has left. But I do not say that nobody will come to belief in Jesus at that time. People will, but not in the sense they do now in the age of grace, age of the church. Now, the 144,000. You seem to make the assumption they're evangelists. Many people do. No place does Scripture tell us that the 144,000 in Revelation 7, or in Revelation 14, are evangelists. No place. The one thing the scripture says at that time is that there'll be some kind of a proclamation of the gospel from the heavens. But it does not involve 144,000, or if it does, the scripture does not teach that. It's an assumption people have made, but it has no real basis in anything exegetically determined in Scripture. Thank you for your question. I think if you want to know more about the 144,000, I'd refer you to my book, Harpezo, Harpezo, uh, which is available on Kindle, Amazon, and so forth, or through Moriel. Not that I'm trying to make a sale, but I can't go at length into the 144,000 in a QA and a on Moriel TV. But thank you so much for your question, and God bless. Bye.